Hey guys, it's Calisthenics School here and today we're gonna discuss one really interesting question. Upper back flexibility, is it so important for calisthenics? We already know that for handstand is just vital point of the training, but for planches and other stuff, let's discuss it in this episode. Lovely planche, guys. What about planche? What about flexibility in planche? So here we should separate, as always, planche move on two important main moves, right? Firstly, is angle holding in your shoulders. Second one is hollow body position. So in first move, everyone able to hold it like that, right? So it's not a, not a challenge. And second move is just rounding of upper back, hollow back position, like that one, right? So here you should have some flexibility and exactly flexibility of your traps. So trapezius muscles should be stretched enough. Otherwise, if you even have really nice shoulders and chest pectoral muscles, you will not be able like round it as much as needed for the plank. Let's firstly discuss some test exercises for this kind of muscles, right? For thoracic muscles. So you can just point your arms forward like that one and then try to move your shoulders as far as you can with rounding of your upper back. And don't round your middle of the back because it's different muscles, right? So if you can't round your upper back like that, that means that your trapezius muscles are flexible if not and if you can do this rounding or you struggle with that move so other exercises we will discuss today will be helpful for you honestly we will work not only about our trapezius muscles but also about our terrace measure here because it also hold your shoulder in stable position and if it's really tough you can't go really far away with that rounding right so this is the bunch of exercises you can perform so place your arms around hip height then go back and chest inside so you shouldn't go really far with your hips like that one it will be for your lats here you should go as far as you can with your upper back like that one try to feel how your trapezius muscles really stretched and probably hurt a little bit and that will be correct and next one we will change this previous one exercise a little bit like i said but we will do it for terrace measure terrace manner and also a little bit less so you have to uh, put your hands crease, increase cross position and you should go away with your hips as much as you can but here your chest also should be protracted like that one so here you have to feel stretching in that area and that will be correct so and the last exercise in this course we will do for exactly for our traps and here you have to understand technical moments because technically it's really hard exercise and really hard to feel that muscles uh, while stretching right but it's exactly for traps so you have to make crisscross grip under your knees then round your upper back as much as possible and then try to like tear your hands from your joints right so here it's really important to curve exactly upper back not the middle back and not the lower back so don't do like that one you should descend your shoulders you should go down with your hips like that and round your upper back as much as possible to feel stretching exactly in your traps you will feel like your scapulas going away from each other and you will feel a lot of stretching and probably a little slight pain there and it will be correct so guys that's everything you need to stretch your trapezius muscles to reach perfect whole body position and protraction of your scapulas right so for today that's it if you need more information about stretching and where it will be helpful in calisthenics let me know in comments and don't forget if you like that video just thumbs up subscribe on the channel and just click on ding dong bottom here ding dong bell or what it is you know notifications button just switch it on and see you in the next video